Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to my videos on organic chemistry. This is the first one and I hope you guys continue on further ahead. So let's get started. How old is this organic chemistry? It is around 200 years old and it started after people started realizing that uh, the systematic studies which began uh, in first half of 19th century began to actually prove that there is no such thing as a vital force that separates inanimate and animate organisms or there is no such thing called vital force which differentiates a compound as either organic or inorganic. What exactly is organic chemistry? It's the chemistry of carbon compounds. Why carbon compounds? Because these compounds are very central to life on this planet. Almost every creature on this planet has these compounds, carbon compounds. Uh, even our, us humans have carbon right from DNAs to proteins in our own bodies. So why not study about them? By the way, the one who revolutionized this uh, study of uh, in our organic compounds were these, pe these two people, Michel Chivreau and Friedrich Wohler. Chivreau used uh, various soaps to demonstrate that vital force was unnecessary. Friedrich Wohler went a step further ahead and said that it does not even exist. There is no such thing called a vital force. Uh, it's, it's a big turning point that discredited the theory of vitalism and the production of an organic compound from an inorganic one definitely became the turning point that completely pushed out vitalism. So the synthesis he performed was is uh, popularly known as Wohler synthesis in uh, present day scenario. It is production of urea from ammonium cyanide. As you can guess, urea is an organic compound while ammonium cyanide is inorganic. So why study organic chemistry? It is an important field of study in medicine, bioengineering, nanotechnology and whatnot. It is also very environmentally helpful in case you want to protect our environments further ahead to better study the effects of plastic wastage. You can understand how we are composed of carbon and its compounds and also because it touches every aspect of our life, right from our plastic bottles to the clothes we wear, carbon compounds are everywhere. So what is the definition of organic? Organic is generally a colloquial term to refer to the things that you derive from living things. But there is also an interesting point here to note. Uh, organic vitamin. This is a very uh, well-known phrase that is going around in news. What it, is, what it means is that it is derived from natural compound and not synthesized by a chemist. We come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.